I saw a sign that said Willard. It's only about 17 miles from here. You know this area. You from around here? Judy and I are both from around here. We were on our way up to the lake to go swimming. And Judy had a radio, and we heard the first reports about this. So we knew the old house was here, and we came in and found the lady upstairs dead. Then these other people came. We went down into the basement and put a bar across the door, and it is pretty strong. How could we possibly get away from here? We've got a sick child, two women, one woman out of her head, three men, and the place is surrounded with these things. Dr. Grimes, your entire staff, I know, has been working very hard to find some solution to these things that are happening. Do you have any answers at this time? Yes, we have some answers. Uh, but first, let me stress the importance of seeking medical attention for anyone who's been injured in any way. We don't know yet uh, what complications might result from such injuries. How bad has your kid been hurt? Good advice, Doctor. Now, how about the basic um, problem of well, Look, you go down there and tell... Now, Judy? Yeah, you tell Judy to come up here and you stay with the kid, all right? In the cold room at the university... Uh, we had a cadaver, a cadaver from uh, which all four limbs had been amputated. Sometime early this morning, it opened its eyes and began to move its trunk. It was dead, but it opened its eyes and tried to move. They want you upstairs. Did she ask for me? She had to do anything. I don't understand. Baby. It's mommy. I heard. I'll come back now as soon as I find out. Thank you, Judy. I'm, I'm sorry. I thought it, I thought it was Doug. I was waiting, and I, I heard his car. I'm, I'm really sorry. It's, it's all right. You just scared me. Um, my, my name is Rex. I live in the building next door. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Great, a party, huh? What's uh, all the commotion? Uh, nothing much. I was waiting for you and watching a little TV down below, and I kind of caught Jennifer here off guard. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll bet. Just leave her though, won't you, Rex? Yeah. I guess I was. Uh, nice meeting you, Jennifer. And again, I, I apologize for the shock. It's Bye. all right. It's nice meeting you. Rex is a good guy, but he hangs around a lot. Just a frustrated boat owner, I guess. Let's go below. It's okay. a nice place to live. Yeah, I try to make it as comfortable as possible. Oh. oh, yeah. Are you tense? Cool. Yeah, give me this. Turn around. Turn around. Oh. You're tense up here and... Here, can you feel this? Yeah, I can. And down in here? the end of the dock and I kiss the wake from every passing boat, that's all. Boy, you know, you 
left the cabin door open. I wish you'd lock it. I know it's silly, but with your friend here. Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. If it'll make you comfortable, I'll do it, all right? I mean, I like my privacy, too. Why don't you get naked while I'm gone? Two of the meanest fuckers around, that's who. You think so, do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too okay? Yeah. You hurt? Well, just my pride and my lip. <laughs> yeah, we're okay. Before I decide to come back, okay? The body should be disposed of at once, preferably by cremation. Well, how long after death then does the body become reactivated? It's only a matter of minutes. Minutes? Well, that doesn't give people time to make any arrangements. Oh, you're right. It doesn't give them time to make funeral arrangements. The bodies must be carried to the street and 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 burned. Uh, they must be burned immediately. Soak them with gasoline and burn them. The bereaved will have to forego the dubious comforts that a funeral service will give. Uh, they're just dead flesh and dangerous. I see. You're gonna need you to find some beds, friends, or sheets to tear up into small strips, okay? Is there a fruit cellar here? Yes. We need some bottles or jars to make Molotov cocktails and hold them off while we try to escape. Hey, there's a big can of kerosene down there. I'll see what I can find. I'll look for the bottles. There's a big key ring down there. There may be a key to the gas pump on it. I'll check. We can toss the cocktails from the window upstairs. In the meantime, a couple of us can go out and try to get the gas and come back to the rest of the people. Before this emergency is over, we will need many, many more such rescues. Look, I said no comment, and I mean no comment! Come in! Oh, there's some some guy named Connors here to see you. Oh, it's I know Connors. Well, bring it. Connors? Here you go. Here 
good round. Hold up. Good evening, Lieutenant. No, it isn't. It is an insidious evening following a disastrous morning. I suppose you've heard the latest. Mm hmm. Two more. This time in the marina. That's why I'm here. I assumed that that had something to do with your visit. I know you don't think very much of my theory, Lieutenant. But this time I've got evidence that's a bit more substantial. Well, get on with it, Clemens. Last night's murders took place in the marina because I shut off the creature's access to the canals. Yesterday afternoon, I closed the lock at the marina jetty. Well, it's against the law to tangle with those locks. You should have been arrested. But I wasn't. Look, I'm trying to help you people stop this horrible business. I've been doing the work your police officers haven't been because they've been too busy trying to prove this ridiculous mutilation called garbage. All right, Connors. It's obvious that you want to run. In the interest of public safety, I am willing to consider everything. Therefore, I will have one of my police scientists talk even with you. Sergeant, ask Graceland to come in for a moment. So then, this incredibly adaptable mutation has evolved into a, a humanoid creature. But, Mr. Connors, why is it murdering people? Not murdering. It's feeding on them. See, it attacks and eats whatever is around. Look, when I sampled the mud off the shore of the power plant, my diver said he saw no sea life at all. No fish, nothing. It stands to reason that the creature has eaten himself out of his spawning grounds, and he's moved on, looking for food. What I can't accept is the idea that this thing has been living off the coast all this time, and no one's noticed it. Grizzly. Point is moot. I have just finished chatting with the plant manager at the Imperial Nuclear Energy Station. And he assures me that his facility has not had any radioactive leak of any kind since this plant was constructed in 1965. Of course he did. I told you he would. Did you expect him to admit something like that? Kill us, we love each other. You can kill us, but wait till our love's consummated.
Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Got a small sonar tracker? I think I can get one. A friend of my uncle will loan it to me. I like it. All we do is wait out there until we detect the creature and then follow it in. And if the thing exists, I'll spot it all right. 
Yeah, but what then? I mean, assuming that you spot it. We catch the badass mother. I've got netting that'll hold a great white. I uh, guarantee it won't get away. And I know a couple of guys that would love to join us on a monster hunt. Okay. Okay. Hell with the police. Dr. John, you and Jeff, you wait by the canal entrance. When we pick up the creature and see he's headed toward the canals, you close off the lock. How are we going to know? Yeah. There's a couple of radios I can get at school. I think I can get around with no problem. They're good for up to a mile or so, huh? And then when we close off the canal, you guys follow the big boy wherever his appetite leads him. Right. Send in the human cry as we go. Right. Oh, no. If this thing is real, we ain't going to say anything to anyone until it's caught. And I'm going to catch it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sonar's working OK. And I borrow the spotlight in case we need it. It's one powerful mother. Yeah. Hope this radio is going to be all right. Worked out fine at school. And I brought this, too. Yeah. I noticed. I don't know if that's going to be of any use, though. Remember, the Dones unloaded a whole pistol into that creature and nothing happened. <laughs> this ain't a pistol, my man.
It's over there, about 20 feet off the ball. Okay, okay. Now, when it really starts moving, let it get enough ahead so the engines don't spook it. I just hope we can keep up with it. This is it. Wake up on deck. We got something. Right back towards the marina. Now, don't lose. Don't worry. I couldn't lose Stuni here even if I tried. According to the sonar, this thing is size large. Straight for the canal entrance. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Sleep. No, well, wake up because we're on our way. The creature's heading right for the opening. Tell John to close off the lock. What, there really is something? We're following it now. Get John moving. Dr. John, Dr. John, wake up. Huh? What is it? They're headed this way. They're tracking the thing towards us. Wayne says to close the lock. Okay. Wayne, John's got it sealed. Good, now stay awake and keep your eyes open. I don't know what you should expect.
good Lord. Being monitored closely by scientists at all the radiation detection stations. At this hour, they report the level of the mysterious radiation continues to increase steadily. So long as this situation remains, government spokesmen warn that dead bodies will continue to be transformed into the flesh-eating ghouls. All persons who die during this crisis, from whatever cause, will come back to life to seek human victims unless their bodies are first disposed of by cremation. Our news cameras have just returned from covering such a search and destroy operation against the ghouls. This one conducted by Sheriff Conan McClellan in Butler County, Pennsylvania. Hey, Cass, put that thing all the way in the fire. We don't want it getting up again. Chief, Chief McClellan, how's everything going? Oh, things aren't going too bad. Men are taking it pretty good. You want to get on the other side of the road over there? Chief, do you think we'll be able to defeat these things? Well, we killed 19 of them today right in this area. Those last three we caught trying to claw their way into an abandoned shed. They must have thought somebody was in there. There wasn't, though. We heard them making all kind of noise. We came over and beat them off, blasted them down. Can I see you here? Yeah, okay. Chief, uh, if I were surrounded by six or eight of these things, would I stand a chance with them? Well, there's no problem. If you had a gun, shoot them in the head. That's a sure way to kill them. If you don't, get yourself a club or a torch. Beat them or burn them. They go up pretty easy. Well, Chief McClellan, how long do you think it will take you until you get the situation under control? Well, that's pretty hard to say. We don't know how many of them there are. We know when we find them, we can kill them. Are they slow moving, Chief? Yeah, they're dead. They're... All messed up. Well, uh, in time, would you say you ought to be able to wrap this up in 24 hours? Well, we don't really know. We know we'll be into it most of the night, probably into the early morning. We're working our way toward Willard, and we'll team up with the National Guard over there, and then we'll be able to give a more definite view. Thank you very much, Chief McClellan. This is Bill Cardill, WIC TV 11 News. Thank you, Bill, for that report. Official spokesmen declined to speculate just how long it may take to kill off all the flesh eaters, so long as the heavy rain... Is the fuse box in the cellar? I don't know. I... It isn't the fuse. The power lines are down. Helen? I have to get that gun. Haven't you had enough? What? Two people are dead already on account of that guy. Take a look out that window. Click it.
We got it on the scanner again. It's headed for the harbor. And I think the thing was trying for the canal when it ran into you. We gotta move. Nicholas, keep your eyes open. Jeff, we're gonna follow it. Head it off before it reaches the boats. Now you and John wait for us at Chris's slip. Wayne, be careful. I love you. The thing's making a crazy move, but he doesn't seem to be injured. The son of a bitch probably can't feel pain. You know, if it gets in the docking area under the boats, we've lost it. I've got that covered. We're gonna get it to chase after us for a while. How? I've got 30 gallons of chum in the tank. If the big boy's hungry, I'll give him all he can handle. Remember, brother, this thing is just a fish. I'm one hell of a fisherman. Take over the helm. <laughs> Here, pour this fragrant garbage over the port while I reverse our direction. Serve you, big bastard. Fish head soup. destroyed Young and his headquarters. We must rebuild my empire. Dallas, will you help me? Certainly. I'll help you to restore your status again. But first, we must get rid of that robo-warrior. <laughs> Drop your weapons in 15 seconds. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
We find somewhere quiet to be alone now.
White Castle and try our slider special. Six burgers, fries, and a soft drink for only two ninety nine. Imagine all those burgers in your stomach right now. Mm -hmm. Don't you like food that's tasty and delicious? Then what are you waiting for? Head over to White Castle. It's what we crave. See a damn thing out here. Mike, turn on the big lamp, will you? Ah, uh, hell. This thing isn't working. I'm gonna have to find a flashlight. Take your time. Not much happening out here. Shotgun. 
man never return here? Check out the house. Somebody had a cook out here, Vince. Yeah, it sure looks like it, Tom. Get up here. Nick, Tony, Steve, you want to get out in that field and build me a bonfire? You, drag that out of here and throw it on the fire. Nothing down here. All right, go ahead down and give him a hand. Let's go check out the house. Man. There's something in there. I heard a noise. All right, Vince, hit him in the head, right between the eyes. Good shot. Okay, he's dead. Let's go get him. That's another one for the fire. doesn't belong with us, with anyone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what the hell? Ah! 